Welcome back, guys. So, are you tired of seeing the boot text every time you start up your RetroPie system? Some people hate it, some people don't mind it. I'm indifferent, but hey, today we're gonna take a look at how you can remove the boot text and have a clean boot up every time you start up your RetroPie system. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Okay, guys, so first what we're gonna do, and this is the simplest way that I can find doing this, there's other ways to go about it. I don't want to cover five different ways. I just want to cover the easiest way that I've been able to do this. So boot up your, your Raspberry Pi with RetroPi, and then go down, find your RetroPi configuration. There we go, RetroPi settings, however it's listed on your image. Get in there, go down the File Manager, and let File Manager boot up. And now we are going to navigate to our boot directory so you need to make sure you have a keyboard attached for this we're going to go ahead and, and go up go up hit enter on each of those and then navigate to boot and then on boot you will have a command line dot txt cmd line dot txt we are going to want to edit that so what we're going to do is we're going to hit f4 that's going to take us straight on into that file. So the first thing we are going to want to do is scroll over with our right key and go to console equals TTY1. We're going to want to delete the 1, put a 3. And then down over here, make sure that you have log level equals 3. On here if you do not have that make sure you add that line log level equals 3 and then just simply go to the end and you will type the following logo dot no logo space and then we are going to type disable underscore oops splash equals one that's it next you need to do is press control x now it's going to ask you at the bottom save modified buffer answering no will destroy changes so we will hit y which is going to go ahead and say hey what file name to write to we're going to keep that as command line dot txt and we'll go ahead and hit enter now that file has saved easy peasy press f10 and it will take you back to RetroPie, and you will be good to go. So now, once you you know shut down, reboot, you will have a clean boot. So let's go ahead and do a clean boot up. We're gonna shut her down and then restart the system. So here we go, clean boot up. Just got a quick little black screen, then it went straight into my splash screen. And then from here, it's going to go to the emulation station loading screen for a moment. So there you go. No Raspberry Pi logos, no boot text, nothing like that. Just a clean startup. Nice little seamless, you know, integration for your bar top or your arcade setup. I think it's pretty nifty. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Really would appreciate it. And with that said, guys... I will catch y'all next time. Boom!